Hi everyone, it's Shilpa here. I'm here to share with you all um, these pretty little tags that I've created and I'm not going to go through all the supplies because I have got a tutorial on one of them. Um, if you want to go and watch it, um, the supplies are all on there what I've used and I'll just put the link below for that video below. So if you want to go and check out the tutorial, I will have... Um, I'll mention all the things that I've used. So what I have here are three really adorable tags and the inspiration for these tags came from my friend Malika. Hi Malika if you're watching and she is um, Aola DIY on YouTube um, but what I saw was a few pictures that she posted on Facebook and they were like acetate tags which she created with beautiful flowers and I just thought you know I'm gonna have a go because I've got some pretty acetates in my stash um, so I'll show you this first and you can see the acetate is really pretty it's glittery and um, just really really nice quality acetate and I got this it's a Kanban acetate and um, I've used this as a base. So basically the three tags are very similar. I've used wild orchid craft flowers on them. So the pink has the white flowers, the green has the pink flowers and the blue has the beigey kind of flowers. And the three laces at the bottom, they are all slightly different designs but very similar with the... Um, little scallop designs on the bottom. So all I've done is I've just layered um, some papers that I've torn and um, I've added a happy birthday sentiment in the centre of this and some pretty flowers on the bottom of that um, sentiment and I've also added some string just to give some texture and they came out really adorable and there's some um, crochet lace at the top of that and um, a die cut doily behind the sentiment there and the only thing you're not going to see in the tutorial video is I added these um, butterflies at the end because I just thought they needed something and because the acetate has the glittered butterflies I thought it would only be um, nice if I added some butterflies so I've used my Martha Stewart punches to layer some butterflies so the base is a white butterfly using this one and then the top layer because it's a double layered butterfly I've used the colour of each one to just punch out um another butterfly as the top layer so the pink one has the pink butterfly and i've added some um pearl string in the center of that in white so it came out really really cute i love it and then the green one again same kind of thing just lays of paper pretty butterfly there and then some string happy birthday sentiment in the middle there again die cut doily and wild orchid craft flowers and again the same crochet lace on the top and um I mean, you could use whatever on the top i just thought the crochet looked really nice with the white doilies i've got on and also the white lace at the bottom and then this one is the one i've got the tutorial on so i've done the same thing just laid papers with a die cut doily wild orchid craft flowers here a layered butterfly some pretty lace at the bottom and some um, string where I've created a bow and just added some to the back of the flowers. Um, so the last thing I did with all of them was I added some white heavy gesso to the edge just to give the definition of the tag. Um, so now you can see it actually pops because I've gessoed the edge otherwise it was quite, I don't know, it was just fading to the background too much. And um, because it's a textured um, heavy gesso, it just leaves a slight raised texture on where I've gone round. And you can see how I've done this on the tutorial that I've got linked below. So I hope you go and check out the tutorial if you want to have a go at creating something similar to this. And um, I, like I said, I just had such a laugh with these. It was just so much fun. And um, I loved using the acetate, which was a really, really nice thing to do because I've not used acetate for a while. And it was just really nice to get out some old stuff from my stash and start creating with them. So that is it for now. Hope you're all having a lovely day. It is so, so cold outside. We are totally snowed in. I'm not working today. And I've told my staff not to come in because it's just ridiculous. You can't drive outside in this weather. Um, Hubby's taken the day off and he's let his staff go. And the kids are off school. They had an early finish yesterday. 
and they've had the whole day off today so we've been we've been out we've had we've already had mass, like snow fights we've made snow angels we can't make snowmen because the snow is really fluffy so it's really hard to like construct the snowman if you know what i mean so we've just been playing in the snow and then we've come in had lunch and um we've just been baking and uh, this the house smells yummy because we've got some biscuits and cookies in the oven as we speak <laughs> so um i'm going to get off now spend some more time with my kids probably catch a movie or something see what's on and um i hope you're all having a lovely day if you're in the uk and you're stuck in the snow stay warm i hope you're all staying safe and warm and um enjoy the weather if you're stuck inside just enjoy the time in with your kids and your family and um just stay warm and safe so i will put the link to my tutorial below so i hope you go and check it out and it is on this tag here but as you can see they're all almost identical and um they're just so so pretty i love them and um so i hope i've inspired you hope you go and check out the tutorial and i'll see you soon take care bye